Somewhere between heat, hunger, malnutrition livestock, plus babies, who would make a perfect appearance for an Al Jazeera coverage? A dozen of bare land covered in dust and soil that has never known what rain smells or tastes like, for that matter, in the last three years, and still needs to be walked in search of water. Lies the stories of African souls who have already experienced hell on earth. Whatever happens in the afterworld is an understatement compared to this monstrosity that we have brought to ourselves. The hardest part is when we have no choice left but to face it. And to face it, ladies and gentlemen, is a matter of survival, life, and death. But what, what really got us here, you might want to ask? Well, tonight, Tonight, I will be the voice in the background of this documentary filled with horror stories so quick. Hide the babies. Matter of fact, I changed my mind. Let them stay so that they get to learn and understand how much time they have remaining on their ticking life bombs that was trapped around their chests by their own parents and line of ancestors before them so that they get to learn and understand that life Life is not all about a bag of potato crepes, video games, and Netflix. So now that they are here, kids, what is a greenhouse gas? Carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide. Scary names for just a gas, right? Well, there is nothing even more scarier than what they have done that explains the heat in this room. You feel that? The heat in a heated conversation about who? Who is responsible for an Armageddon happening in these last days? The heat in my intestines when my whole family and I have had to sleep on an empty stomach because of inflation in flour and petroleum prices, because Ukraine and Russia have gone to war, because they both produce a third of the world's wheat, because if they die, then I die, because I never thought someone's life and whoever knows which coordinate of this blue ball in a distant continent would affect mine, because my life is mine, because it is not the heat when I figure I cannot keep track of all those because it's the heat in Asia making icebergs melt and increase sea levels swallowing up a whole city that actual people live in because I'm an actual person and even from here I can channel the fear and pain of losing a home, a home, a home, a home in South Africa. A rich man drives to work in his G63 AMG which is not the only locomotive that he owns blowing up smoke into the atmosphere like a chimney in Thanksgiving up in the United States. Besides his road basically engine machine which can roar and wake up a starving soul in Soweto which can cough enough greenhouse gases to digest the whole ozone layer all together. This man also owns a string of cruiser ships, a couple of private planes, and a gold mining company. Now this man has disaster parked in his own garage space, but he doesn't even know it. Or maybe he does. Or maybe he has a backup plan to board a rocket together with his other rich bastards like himself to a trip on another planet if all hell bro breaks loose, or maybe all hell is about to break loose, but he is rich, and that is all that he needs to know. Back home in northeastern Kenya, in Wajia County, a hard man wakes up to find his only bull left dead after all his herd died from the excruciating sun, no pasture, no hay. The bull would, on a good day, be traded for $700, but the bull is no more. The hardsman is now poorer than he was before and still hungry. And that is all that he needs to know. To know in Bangkok, Thailand, a craftsman selling cowries and accessories for tourists is watching the news by the television set on his neighbor's salesman cupboard compartment. The journalist in good fluent Mandarin, looking more gorgeous than the sadness that she spits, more like a cobra dressed in a sari, but the venom leaves you cold than the peak of Denali in Alaska. This journalist is narrating terror 
Besides her in the studio, an invited environmental scientist who is breaking it down in context and in simplicity. Why in coming years, the city will be submerged by the rising sea levels. The craftsman locks eyes with his neighbor businessman and after a blank stare, sandwiched by grave silence, they both... Laugh. <laughs>